The Heart Project is all about helping people through challenges using photography and compositing to do that. We have a group, a team of compositors, photographers that create imagery for people to free them from their restrictions, free them from their challenges. They might be kids that can't walk, that can't speak, they might be adults that are quadriplegics, but it's really about bringing hope and joy to people through photography. We had a retreat, uh, it was called the Refocus Retreat, and at this retreat we did a live heart project shoot with a couple of girls that have been sick. Thankfully they're, they're well now. They, they journeyed through having leukaemia. We created a book for them which tells of their story and their journey, but they journey into a magical fantasy land, and this fantasy land helps them to realise that Doctors and nurses and the hospital are there to help them and not to be scared. So the idea of this book is to actually help people and children all around the world if they have to face the same thing. And each of the team members is creating a page each, so it really is a collaborative effort. It's really important uh, to me to photograph with the Wacom tablet, uh, my mobile studio pro and tether to it so that when I'm photographing, we can actually test all of the photos out and make sure they fit. I could not do what I do without a tablet, without a pen, um, you know, with a mouse. There's such fine detail that goes into it. So many layers, so much editing, cutting out around uh, a subject and, you know, making sure that they look like they're in the scene. So I love this tablet because I can actually go anywhere with it. I sit in cafes, I sit in bed with it, in planes. The kind of work that I do, I know there are people that try and do it with a mouse and they struggle. When you're working so finely for such a long period of time, you can get a very sore hand with a mouse. You know, can you use it for a long period of time and not get tired? So for this front page image, uh, the tree with the heart, I wanted the girls to really look like they're sitting in the tree. And after we photo them sitting in the seat in the right angle. I've put them in. I've used some controls like puppet warp so I can bend them in the direction that I want. Really, really cool feature. But just adding light and shade and shadow and making it look like they're embedded into the scene. So painting all of that in. You can't just cut someone out and stick them in. It just doesn't look right. So there, there is a lot that goes into this kind of work. And so I've just worked through all of those steps to create that magical looking light and make them look look like they're asleep in the tree and it's really very cute. <laughs> Every time I present the finished image to that family, just the joy on their faces and the amazement, it just makes it all worthwhile and you know you realise that photography can actually make a difference.